It's barely a month since President Jerry Museveni passed the Anti-Homosexuality Act and already a group of public figures have filed a suit challenging the constitutionality of the law. Key among the petitioners is the former leader of opposition in parliament, Professor Ogenga Latigo, Makere University Law Dawn, Professor Oloko Nyango, seasoned journalist Andrew Mwenda, West Budama MP Fox Odoi, and a gay rights activist, Pepe Onzima. The team was represented by prominent human rights lawyer Nicola Sopio and Ladislas Rakafuzi. They argue that the Anti-Homosexuality Act was passed without quorum, which is unconstitutional. The petitioners also contend that the criminalization of same sex among consenting adults contravenes the right to equality before the law. They add that it violates people's rights to privacy and promotes discrimination. The petition also challenges Section 2 of the Act, which imposes a life sentence for persons convicted of aggravated homosexuality. They say that the punishment is disproportionate to the offense. There's only one thing I fear. Living in a society that has no room for minorities. I don't want to live in that society. West Budama MP Fox Odoi, who has consistently criticized the law, says he's ready to lose his political seat for the sake of fighting for justice for sexual minorities. So I, I, I'm not worried. I, I would rather lose uh, the seat for West Budama North. I was not trained to be a politician. I'm a goddamn good advocate. I was still unbelieving. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Ogenga Latigo, in his part, dwelt on the report of the medical team which presented its findings to President Museveni about the scientific basis of homosexuality. It's an absolute lie, even to the extent of some people claiming that homosexuality is not genetic. It is the height of scientific madness. Because if you are living, whether you are an insect or a human being, you are what you are because of the genes. The petition has also filed a permanent injunction against the media restraining them from printing or broadcasting names of suspected gay or lesbian people. In tabloids like the Red Paper, for a whole week, actually 10 days, they were just publishing faces, uh, people's um, residences, and this put most of us at more risk. Court is yet to set a date for hearing the petition. Yes, the anti-homosexuality bill was passed last month amidst heated debate in parliament with a section of legislators arguing that the bill was passed without quorum. The sentiment was also raised by President Museveni later on when pressured by religious leaders to pass the bill. The president, however, made a U-turn on 24th of February and signed the bill into law, attracting praises from a multitude of Ugandans. Solomon Serwanja, NTV.